Beyond the veil, lurking within the shadows of an unseen realm, demonic beings plot against the church and plan attacks on God's children. Whether you believe it or not, demons are real. Spiritual warfare is real, and the supernatural realm impacts your everyday life. Demons are not metaphors for evil. They are living, sentient beings with wills of their own. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Ephesians chapter 6, verse number 12. May God open our eyes to see hell's agenda. Being unleashed by hell upon the earth right now is a virus. This virus spreads from person to person, multiplying itself rapidly and bringing destruction wherever it goes. This virus has the power to shut down economies, upset governments, and intimidate people into cowering in isolation. Make no mistake, this virus is lethal. This virus can intensify over time, and this virus must be stopped. This virus is, of course, the spirit of fear. Fear intimidates. Fear makes people pliable and easy to control. Fear makes people afraid to proclaim truth. And if we're not vigilant, fear itself will cause us to surrender freedom in the name of security. It will cause us to set aside faith in the name of wisdom. Whatever happens in the natural realm, remember that it is being influenced by the supernatural realm. The enemy, that is the devil and his demons, is testing the water. He's testing to see what he can get away with. He's testing to see if it's possible to control you with fear. And he is watching closely. He's observing. And if you allow fear to control you now, I promise you the enemy will use fear again in the future and in increasingly suppressive measures. Let those with spiritual eyes see. Let those with spiritual ears hear. I'm talking to you about a spiritual enemy. The moment you allow fear to grip your soul, it will continue to tighten its grip until it brings you to the point of paralysis. But I thank God for His truth. For greater than the spirit of fear, greater than any demonic spirit, is the Holy Spirit. And He brings with Him peace and faith, the cures for fear. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. Get your spiritual fight back. Allow righteous indignation to burn within you. Put the enemy in his place. Declare the truth of the word of God over yourself, over your family, over your home, over your region. Lay claim upon the peace that God has given to you. Let your faith soar to new heights. Let it shatter the tethers of fear. Shine a light in the midst of the darkness. Stand your ground against fear. And remember this, if your father is the father of lights, your future is bright. I'm David Deger Hernandez, and that is your Moment of Truth. For more free content like this, and to be directly connected with me, sign up to my emailing list by going to davidhernandezministries.com slash email. When you sign up, you're going to get weekly content from me every single week for free, sermons and worship songs, and all sorts of content that will help you grow spiritually. Sign up today, davidhernandezministries.com slash email. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.